Phlebotomy, Lesson 2.8, External Cardiac Anatomy. The outside surface of the heart is reddish-brown in color and is marked with grooves called sulci. A singular groove is a sulcus. The coronary arteries lie in the grooves on the surface of the heart. The heart muscle, like any other muscle in the body, must receive oxygenated blood to live. The heart muscle cannot get oxygen from the blood it pumps because the blood's moving too fast through the heart. The heart relies on a vast network of tiny arteries on the surface of the heart to deliver oxygen to the heart tissue. These arteries are called the coronary arteries. Coronary arteries line the outer surface of the heart, distributing oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. This is an angiogram, or a mapping of the blood vessels of the heart using a contrast dye. This is a map of the coronary arteries that line the surface of your heart. Every person's coronary arteries will be just a little bit different, but the major vessels are usually in the same place. Oxygenated blood flows into the coronary arteries from the aorta while the ventricles are at rest. The heart is the first organ to receive oxygenated blood. The main coronary arteries lie on the outer surface or epicardial surface of the heart and smaller feeder branches deliver oxygenated blood deep within the myocardial tissue. The coronary arteries branch off into smaller and smaller arteries, which become tiny hair-like vessels called capillaries. Capillaries are only one cell thick and allow for gases like oxygen and nutrients like electrolytes to move from the bloodstream into the cells and waste products to move from the cells into the bloodstream. Every cell in the body needs oxygenated blood. The heart's muscle cells are no different. Just like capillaries deliver blood to all the other cells in your body, special capillaries deliver blood to the heart's cells too. These capillaries are connected to the tiny arteries on the surface of the heart called coronary arteries. When a coronary artery becomes blocked by a blood clot or fatty deposit that is built up within the small arteries, Oxygenated blood flow to that section of the heart muscle is disrupted. When muscle tissue does not receive oxygen, it begins to die. This is how a heart attack occurs, when oxygenated blood cannot travel through the coronary arteries to the heart muscle, usually because of a fatty blockage. Since heart attacks, also known as myocardial infarctions or MIs, are usually caused by blocked coronary arteries, it's necessary to have an adequate understanding of the general anatomy of the heart chambers, valves, conduction system, and coronary artery system when working in healthcare. Coronary veins travel alongside the coronary arteries. These veins progress into the largest vein that drains the heart called the coronary sinus. It lies in the groove on the surface of the heart that separates the atria from the ventricles. This deoxygenated blood empties directly into the right atrium. Conclusion Even the heart muscle needs oxygenated blood to live. The heart cannot get oxygen from the blood circulating in the four chambers because it's moving too fast. Remember, blood must be in a capillary for gases and nutrients to move back and forth. The arteries, capillaries, and veins on the surface of the heart provide the heart with a great supply of blood to keep it beating. Now progress to the next lesson to learn about cardiac conditions.